Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel Wake Up Bright where I share all of the things that help me live each day a little brighter. I'm April Lauren and I'm on a journey to lose 200 pounds. I am almost 90 pounds down. I'm almost halfway. I'm very excited, very, very excited and pumped about this new idea. I am so boring with food and recipes. My husband pointed out Greg Doucette's recipes to me, so we started doing Greg Doucette stuff. And then I stumbled on Remington James recipes. And we're gonna make chicken taquitos, anabolic fried rice, some deep dish pizza, and some mac and cheese. So today we are meal prepping for weight loss, anabolic style. So high protein, low calorie. It's gonna be awesome. At the end, we will rate the recipes. So if that interests you, stay tuned. And in the words of Remington James himself, Let's do it. We are kicking this epic anabolic meal prep off with some anabolic mac and cheese. Mac and cheese is one of my husband's favorite things for me to make. And I can tell you right now, this is nothing like the mac and cheese that I make. Because I never do like a creamy, I do more of cheesy, like just noodles and cheese. Um, so, But these are the ingredients. And I'm kind of glad it's going to be a different type of dish. I hope that works out to have both things both of us liking it more than we would have if we were just trying to match our regular mac and cheese, which I only make macaroni and cheese during the holidays anyway. So I'm very excited to see how this turns out. I'm thinking by adding the chicken, it's gonna make it kind of like a casserole. So I'm pretty excited about it and let's get started. I am kicking this off with starting the pasta. So I'm just measuring it out to make sure I have the right amount. So he always gives you the amount, at least in my experience so far, for one, and then you just multiply it by however many servings you're doing. So the package says seven, eight minutes. We're gonna go seven minutes. Um, he says in the video to do it a little underdone, and that way I think when you warm it up, it's perfect. I really wanna make doing these types of videos a regular thing on my channel. I am so boring. I think I talked about this in the intro. I'm so boring, My I, I like to eat the same thing over and over and over again, so I'd be very happy with like a chicken quesadilla and broccoli for lunch, or chicken and a sweet potato for lunch, or my beef bowl thing that I do where it's just rice, beef, and broccoli, and a simple breakfast and a simple dinner. I love that the anabolic French toast from Greg Doucette fills me up so much, and that's really inspired me to try because like I shared a couple weeks ago, I don't really get a full satisfied sensation. I get an uncomfortable, I do feel uncomfortable like there comes a point where it's like i'm over full and past it but there's nothing before that it's like all of a sudden i'm miserable i have to interrupt myself i was so skeptical of this almond milk and it turned out okay so if you like me are skeptical of cooking with almond milk i promise i read one time that almond milk is not for cooking but I may have just made that up. I don't know, I don't know. But I did, used it and I didn't have any upset stomach or anything like that. And this froze really well. So it reheated really well and that it was very important to me. Like I was saying, I am excited to do more of these videos. It makes my husband really happy to have variety and that making him happy is very important to me. But also I feel like the more I branch out of my comfort zone or my bubble, the better I become at like cooking, the better I understand myself, such as doing these super heavy protein without cutting carbs completely out. I've always cut carbs out if I'm doing like high protein or like severely limited them. Having still a balanced diet just with a high protein, it just helps me feel comfortable and not get cravings and not overeat. I am so happy with how this turned out and I think that it's kind of a win. So they were out of elbows, otherwise I would have done the elbow macaroni. So I did these and I think it just turned out so good, kind of like a little casserole like I was saying earlier. And then I put Cholula in ours and it was a, it's really good. So the total calories for this is 563. Total carb was 46 with 13 fiber. The fat was 13 grams because we I cannot find fat-free cheese with the exception of the cheddar. Um, so the cream cheese had a little fat in it. And then protein 56 grams because of the high protein in the pasta and then the chicken on top of that. For taste, I rated this okay. I needed the Cholula. The Cholula made it awesome. The cost per serving was 373 and that's gonna vary area to area. And the hungry meter, it was a very, very filling. It froze very well and 
This one my husband hasn't tried yet, so he was out of town, but now he's back. So we, we will see. I will report probably on Instagram. So I'm wake up right there if you want to look me up. And I scored macaroni and cheese 8 out of 10. And this, my friends, is the recipe that started it all, the anabolic buffalo chicken taquitos. I have never eaten a taquito before, but for whatever reason, YouTube recommended this to me, and I was like, yes, that is yes. <laughs> I was looking for anabolic. I think I just searched anabolic recipes for meal prep or something like that, because a lot of the Greg Doucette recipes, there's some that meal prep very well, and a lot of them, like the French toast, I don't want to meal prep that like I want it to make it fresh so but having meal prep is very important to me so for this Remington James he bought pre shredded chicken I just went ahead and shredded our own so I put it in the pressure cooker and cooked it then put it in the bowl measured out the amount that we were gonna need added the cream cheese and then mixed that stuff up I actually may have made this twice now so this is the first time that I made it and then I made it again and so we have we have 34 taquitos in our freezer right now so <laughs> but I wanted to try something out with them and what I did is I, fr I flash froze them in order to store them instead of doing, you'll see, you'll see what I did. So I put all the ingredients together and then I just mixed them up. So this is the inside and then I put barbecue sauce. Now the first time that I did it, I only used one can of barbecue sauce. I, I only bought one and I think I needed more. I did, I did a smaller portion. I was very skeptical of doing this. I was skeptical of a couple things. I was like, what if it isn't filling at all? What if it makes me feel gross because of the fat-free cheese? And then also, what if it's something that's like bingeable? Like what if I eat it and I don't feel like I've eaten anything at all? And then I could just eat 5,000 of them. That I have to keep food like that. I just I don't have to, I guess, but I keep it out of the house. I love like the ladder and all of the real life happening, the half cut watermelon. That's, that's awesome. <laughs> so mixing it all up, my open drawer, the kitchen is chaos. It's never chaos when I start cooking, but chaos happens very quickly, very quickly. So then you just portion it out and then you just roll it up. And part of the recipe he has, you do the pepper jack cheese. I, for the second time I made it, ran out of the pepper jack. And so what I did is I just did a, the same. I did the seven grams of shredded and it did this job. So it keeps the taquito when it starts warming up, the cheese melts and then it keeps it sealed, which is really, really nice. And then when it reheats, it adds a little extra. The pepper jack I definitely prefer, but I did the a wheat and then I did the flour, like the light colored tortilla. The wheat was not very good in my opinion. So going forward, I will just do the white tias for this. For other things, I don't really care. And they have about the same macros. I think the wheat has one more gram of fiber. I think that was the only difference, but they have the same calories. So this is them afterwards. I do recommend cooking them a little bit longer. So this is the second time and I still could have probably done it a little longer. It wasn't super crisp in the center, but my husband was on his way home. And so I was like, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done so that we can spend time together and so what I did is I transferred this onto a baking sheet. So this is the original. I'm like going back and forth between footage. It's a little weird. So the original, so you've got the brown and then you've got the flour. And then originally the way he he suggested to to wrap them or to store them, it was wrapping them in tin foil. And I decided to flash, I decided to flash freeze them instead. So by flash freezing them, I just put them on a baking sheet, not the one that was in the oven, and stuck it in the freezer. And then they freeze. So when you put them in a bag, which is what I ended up doing, I put them in bags and then in storage containers all together. But because they're individually frozen, they don't stick to each other. I saw that on like another YouTuber. So I don't know when, but it was so smart. And I'm like, oh my. My goodness, I never in a million years would have thought to do that. Um, and at the time I didn't meal prep a ton. But fun fact, the very first video I remember really watching on YouTube was a Heidi Summers how to meal prep video. I think I had just Googled like how to meal prep and it was a Heidi Summers video. And so she's kind of the first YouTuber that I really watched. And then when I hurt my leg, I found all kinds of YouTubers. So, cause I was, not able to do much. So I became like a YouTube watcher. I watched so many, 
so many people. Um, and that kind of got me through and motivated me too. So that was good. So these are the second wave. It's going back to that and I'm taking them to the freezer. The second time I skimped on the cream cheese cause I was like, we don't need that much cream cheese. And so skimping on the cream cheese was a mistake. They're not as good. So they were, it was heavier on the sauce and lighter on the cream cheese. That was not intentional, but um, this is how I stored them. And it worked out really, really well storing them like this. I was pretty impressed. Um, and then when I want to put him in my husband's lunch, I just go grab a couple and yeah. So then he heats it up or we pop them in the microwave or the oven. I actually prefer to heat them up in the oven, but it does take a long time. So it's not a quick thing in the oven. Maybe the air fryer. I haven't tried that yet. So that would be worth a shot. I bet it would be really fast to reheat it in the, in the oven. So these come out to 264 calories, 21 grams of carbs, 17 fat, and 18 grams of protein. And that is for one. So that is really awesome. I love the amount of fiber. And then I pair it with broccoli or a salad, whatever I'm in the mood for. Usually broccoli because salad, I usually want some sort of low calorie dressing. And I think the taste of these are really, really good. I do feel like I retain more water after I eat them. So that's something to be mindful of. It's probably the type of buffalo sauce that I got. Um, the cost per taquito works out to be about $1.33 per taquito, which I thought was really good. They are very filling, surprisingly so. And I was so skeptical. I think I said the word skeptical like 500 times because I was. I was like, this is going to be, it's going to make me feel gross. It's not going to be good. Like all of the things it tastes like. It tastes really good, um, and I wouldn't consider this very clean eating, but it's good to just have options, and while I meal prepped all of these, we keep them in the freezer. That way, I, ha I don't have to eat it like right away, so it'll keep for quite a while. Freezeability. Great. These were really good in the freezer, and it is husband approved. He enjoyed them. I give these an 8 out of 10. I would say I would say all of these recipes are worth trying at least one time. So that is my recommendation is to check them out for yourself. But I um I'm not giving these easy eights. I I even like gave them like grade scores on each of the things, like the freezeability and how they taste and if they're filling. I gave them scores. <laughs> And still everything ended up so far in the eight category. So anyway, moving on to spoiler alert, my favorite. And that is anabolic fried rice bowls. I started to film this video last night, but I just could not talk to the camera. So I made some of the recipes already. I just put rice in the rice cooker and I'm about to cut up some chicken and on my sheet pan, I'm gonna cook it. In the video I found for his fried rice, he used the pre-packaged rice. I don't wanna do that, so I'm not going to. We're just gonna make our rice, which is fine. It's fine, it's fine. <laughs> Let's cut up some chicken, shall we? <laughs> my mood while I was filming this, I was not having a good week. I've talked about it before, but that's why I've done so much voiceover. Now that I've been doing the voiceover though for this, I think it may be better and go faster than if I just talk to the camera and do step by step. So let me know in the comments down below for future videos like this, would you prefer me just doing voiceover, getting a lot of recipes in, or would you rather me like go super slow and just do like one recipe? So essentially I'm just reviewing other creators. If I were doing a recipe, like if I created a recipe and was sharing it, I would just do a video with me talking to the camera, explaining everything. but. I don't know if I'll do that. So we'll see what the future holds, but most likely I'm just gonna be reviewing other people's stuff. So, and linking to it for better instruction and explanation and things like that. This was the first time I've used egg beaters before. So I don't guess I really know what the difference is in doing egg beaters and just mixing up eggs, but it seemed to be lower calories. I'm not sure if I was making that up or not. So I just went with with what he called for and it actually was really good. Like this rice was so good and I was, I, like, there goes the word again. I was skeptical about the egg beaters and like pre-cooking it this way because you know, when you do fried rice, like they fry like the rice with the egg. So I just thought that was interesting, but, and this was a lot of egg, but 
it's a lot of protein so it's just really good it's it's a really good dish really simple and if you do their pre-cooked rice like he does then it's even easier so i just made the rice like i already shared and yeah so this is i, I think i really enjoy red pepper in egg which I don't know why I'm like just recently figuring that out, but I had egg whites not too long ago and did that. And it was like, I was like, oh my gosh, this is a game changer. So the other alteration that I did with this one is that he suggested low sodium soy sauce and I just did liquid aminos. And I mean, that's probably what I'll always do. It was really good. It, this, this was really good. Now my husband liked this as well. He did say that he felt like it was missing something. I think that's just because it was really plain. It wasn't plain as in it didn't taste good, but it was just a very simple dish. So I don't know if we add something to it and he likes it. I'm not a big fried rice person either. Like if we go out to hibachi or something like that, I always get plain white rice. So I don't ever get fried rice. So for him, it probably is missing something. And for me, I'm like, oh, this is delightful and something different. And he's like, you're basic. <laughs> when I do something like a sauce like this, these aminos, they're low calories, so sometimes I'll pre-measure it out. But what I did is I just put the bottle on the scale, zeroed it out, and then I put aminos on the rice, then put it back on the scale. So this is the finished product. There's 495 calories, 52 grams of carbs. As you can see, it is quite heavy on the carbs there is not a lot of fiber there's only 3.4 grams of fat and then 45 grams of protein so really high in protein it was a really really it's so good and it's so filling even though it doesn't have a lot of fiber in it i think that protein just really helps and it's it's delicious it's filling i thought about adding broccoli i think next time i might so taste really good it's the best out of these all the ones that i did there's still a good one coming up for you but it was the best so one point $1.47 per serving. As I said, very filling. The freezeability, it's great. It freezes really well, and my husband enjoyed it. However, he did say he felt like it was missing something, but he enjoyed it, so that's the most important part. Out of 10, highly recommend. You should totally give the fried rice a try, unless you, like, hate rice or whatever, so then maybe don't, but so good, so good. The last up is Anabolic Deep Dish Pizza, and this is a interesting dish <laughs> very interesting lots of cheese again skeptical and very worried about how it would affect me so i um i bought a lot of cream cheese and a lot of cheese for these recipes i think that's one reason i was so skeptical of the recipes but we need 500 and 60 grams of cheese. We're doing 10 of these pizzas. We need 560 grams of the cream cheese. So, it's <laughs> a lot of cheese. It's a lot of cheese. And now we need 460 grams of egg whites. So it was in this minute, this very moment that I realized I think I effed up. <laughs> so all of the recipes that I've made, he does one serving and then tells you to multiply it by the servings you wanna do. Um, so I thought that's what this one was. Cause I'm like, I just bought all this cheese, all this cream cheese, and I'm gonna have to make 50 pizzas. I mean, we have a really big freezer, so. <sighs> I'm glad that's not the case. I'm gonna go back and check the video though. Cause I just, I screenshotted the steps. I've watched the videos a couple times now. So, I hope I didn't mess up. Good week, and the first thing we gotta do with pizza is get our crust ready. Let's do it. So I'm gonna place a large mixing bowl on top of a food scale. That way I can weigh everything out. And the first ingredient for the crust is 56 grams of fat-free cheddar cheese. If you've never had fat-free cheddar cheese before and you're scared of it, I'm telling you, don't be. It melts good, it's gonna taste good in this recipe. Just you try it. And next, we just gotta throw in 56 grams of fat-free cream cheese. 
gonna get this a real nice texture. Then we just pour in 46 grams of liquid egg whites, just a little bit. And finally, we're just gonna toss in a gram of garlic powder, a gram of oregano, about half a gram of crushed red peppers. You can skip this step if you want. And this is also optional, but about a gram of salt. It's gonna make it taste better though. And then now we're just gonna go in with a spoon and slowly mix everything together. The main goal being to get this fat-free cream cheese all broken up and incorporate it with everything else. Okay, I don't know if you could hear, but that was for one. I um I was spraying out all ten of these with just, you know, my little second of spray, making sure that they don't stick because I know when we reheat these, especially like my husband, it's he can't if he takes it to work, he's not gonna be able to reheat in these, so I wanted them to be easily removable. Also, I'm gonna probably flash freeze these as well. So they're not quite done, but they are going back in the oven for longer. These look so good. Like I feel like I would just eat this with nothing else. There's a good chance that if you're watching this, it is my sister's birthday. So go over to her channel or see her Instagram and wish her a happy birthday. I think that that would be awesome if a lot of people went over and told her happy birthday. All right, time to go back in the oven. So I will not be able to give a freezeability score on these because at this point I have not eaten any that I froze. So I'm hoping that they're good. They, it didn't hurt my stomach or anything like that personally. So I can't speak for everyone. Only 248 calories per one, nine grams of carbs, 11 grams of fat and 25 grams of protein. They are good. The first bite was super eggy. They come out to $1.69 per each, I think I meant per serving or per container, um, or just each, $1.69 each. They are very, very filling. So I, because they're so low in calorie, I was like, well, you know, I'll just eat two. No, 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 no. One was good. I had like two bites of a second one and I'm like, my stomach hurts a little bit. So freezeability, I wrote good, but it's not good because I don't know yet. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, but they did, they look good. They look good frozen, so. And then husband approved, not sure, because he has not had one yet. Eight out of 10 is the score I gave it, and that is because the first bite I took was really eggy. After the first bite, it wasn't so bad, so I'm not convinced it wasn't just like maybe the way I did the batter for the crust, but very good, highly recommend checking it out. So far, it's been really successful. So I did mix this in with just normal meal prep that I do. So I think I mentioned this earlier. So my very boring like cauliflower rice, beef, broccoli. And then also I have like chicken cacciatore that I like to meal prep regularly because it's lower in calorie and just very filling and it's something that works. So as I find recipes that work that we both really enjoy, like I'll just incorporate them into regular meal prep. And just like that, it's time to wrap up the video. Thank you so much for watching with me. I hope that you'll try some of these recipes. I did my best to tag them. And then down below, there is also links to each recipe that I used. And let me know in the comments below. Let me know if there's someone who you would like to see me try their meal prep meals or just recipes that maybe they have that'll freeze well, that will be very filling and that are low calorie, high protein. So I'm very, very excited about experimenting like this. I love these recipes. I am um, was very skeptical, <laughs> very skeptical and very happy and pleasantly surprised. So I look forward to seeing you on Monday and subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you next week. Have a good weekend. Happy Memorial Day.